In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some custom motor driver blocks that we've created for our motor driver board. These blocks can be found under the Kittronic block set here. To add this block set, we have to use the add package function, which can be found in the drop down menu here. Once we've added these blocks, we now have a motor driver block subset. And within in here, we have this block here, which can be used for driving motors. An example could be on a button press. And then, so if we press button A, this block would cause motor one to drive in the forward direction at a speed. Now, uh, the motor driver board can drive two motors in full forward and reverse directions. So to use this block, we select which of the two motors we want to drive, motor one or two, the direction of travel, and then also the speed at which we want it to go. So we can go between zero, stop, up to full speed forward at 100% or anywhere in between. So on button A pressed, motor one would travel forward at 56% of full speed. And we can vary these for our desired task.